you can talk about that. So yeah, Rat of Man is a uh, Jason Statham film directed by Guy Ritchie. Now, I don't know if you got to see the last Guy Ritchie movie. It was The Gentleman with Matthew McConaughey. That's actually the last movie I got to see before the pandemic or one of the last movies. Did you see that yep, one? Yep, that was amazing. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. So I was looking forward to this one. And, you know, I went in blind to this one because I didn't see any trailers for it. So I didn't know what it was about. And I did that with the last Guy Ritchie one as well, The Gentleman. Never looked at a trailer. Posters or anything like that. Didn't look. I just looked at my list and I was in college that day. Seen it was in cinemas, went to go see it. Had a great time because I didn't know what to expect. And it was the same here. And the opening scene, there's kind of a heist. There's like a, a money truck that's being transported to go to a bank or coming from a bank. And of course, these guys stop it, you know, they kill a few of the guards and they take the money. That happens. And then you meet Jason Statman's character, who you're not too sure what's going on with him. And he's, he's starting to work for a company that delivers money to A to B. So you're kind of taken aback by this guy. You know, you, you think there's something more about him. He's very... He's very quiet, keeps to himself, and he looks like he has this anger in him, but he looks like he has this mission with him as well. But you get to spend a little bit of time with him, but this is, a, this is a film where the opening scene is very important because we get to see different angles of this scene. So we get to see the truck when it first departs. Then an, another kind of sequence of the movie is we get to see the, the bank robbers or the heist robbers coming up with their plan and their kind of backstory. Then you get to see kind of backstory to Jason Statman's character. Then you get to see the backstory to another character. And then it all comes together to the climatic opening scene, which reveals what happened in that scene from different perspectives. But then you understand what Jason Statman's character is actually doing and what his mission is. So that's pretty cool. And then once you find that out, you're with Jason Statman. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I want to be with Jason Statman's character here because I, I understand his motivation. So you see different angles of it. I know it was a pretty good movie. It doesn't have like original music like the gentleman did. It's all score based and stuff like that. The action sequences are pretty cool. A lot of blood. It's definitely R rated. Um, there's no no sex scenes or anything like that. It's just pure action. And it, it you know, the guy who was in um, Mindhunter, the older kind of detective, yes, yes, yes. The older kind of um, uh, hold. He, he's he's in this. He, yeah, he he was I, was. I was I was delighted to see him because I love Mindhunter and I was a pity it got cancelled after season two. But he's in this. He's pretty good as well. There's a few other actors that do be in all of Guy Ritchie's movies. But yeah, I think this is more in the in the vein of The Gentleman. Because remember in The Gentleman, we got to see a certain scene and you got to see different angles yeah. of it and different perspectives. <clears throat> That's kind of this, only 10 times more of that because there's there's more angles to it. That's typical Guy yeah, Ritchie, I think it's a pretty. Right? That, was, that was something yeah, he, does that uh, he did in uh, King Arthur as well. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. So he, that, that's, that's what he likes doing. And I, I was thinking to myself, oh, is this going to feel like the gentleman? But no, there's, there's a lot more to this. So basically the IMD plot, I, IMBD plot for it is, so I don't want to spoil it because it's very interesting. The plot follows H, which is Jason Statham's character, a cold and mysterious character working at a cash truck company responsible for moving hundreds of millions of dollars around Los Angeles each week. There's a reason he gets the job. There's a reason he wants to work at this certain place, but I'm not going to tell you He's because you need to watch this movie. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one yeah yeah but that's yeah, basically what he is and it's just i would say one word to kind of talk to, to describe this movie will be just cool it's a cool movie and um jason statman look he plays these he plays these kind of similar characters a badass who can beat up anybody but i think there's something special about this one because of what actually happens and what drives his motivation so i would definitely check out this it's on demand. You can see it in some, some cinemas as well. The cinemas are open back up here next week, I think. I'm not too sure if it's going to be in cinemas here, but go check it out if you can. It's definitely a good one. And Guy Ritchie has been a bit of, on a bit of a roll. Aladdin did pretty yeah. well. A weird kind of movie for him. Right? You know, it was so like, different from yeah, his style, weird. but he still nailed yeah. it. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's like Zack Snyder doing a yes. Disney movie, but it doesn't feel like Zack Snyder yeah. at all. Stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely a good one. And, uh, Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. But yeah, it's 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 awesome. And um you, do, you should definitely check it out because I think you're gonna like it big time. Yeah, I'm definitely like uh I don't even need to see any trailers for although I do love seeing the trailers, but I don't need to see a trailer for a Guy Ritchie film. I'm as soon as it's announced, I'm all in <laughs> because um I love yeah. 
you know all of his films and uh, his style is very unique and uh it's especially these kinds of films where the gentleman and uh this one you know uh king arthur that's king arthur kind of is more fantastical but um uh, there's still that you know english Br british humor type of thing in that so i i do like that uh that stuff and uh i'm definitely going to check it out yeah it was it was good humor in it uh, and it's not like it's laugh out loud humor of course it's more like subtle humor words it's not trying too hard it's kind of a lot of f bombs and stuff like that it was pretty cool and um clint eastwood's sons in it scott eastwood oh. as kind of uh as a villain kind of a villain and uh he's just not too much to do he's not like an iconic actor like his father yeah. but he's he's good in his own right i've, I've liked him in certain movies Suicide he was he was fine yeah <laughs> and i bet you he was in more yeah. that i bet you he was in more that's just a small role but here you don't get to see much of his acting uh, credentials or anything like that. He just has a simple role and he does it pretty well. And um, I think everybody does. But the main star is, is Jason Stapp. But even though he's not in large majorities of this movie, he, there's probably, he, he's, I don't know, he doesn't have the most screen, uh, uh, screen time, I wouldn't say either. You know, he's, in, he's not in that much. Like he's in, the, he's in the movie, but it's not like Jason Stapman every single five minutes. There's periods where he's not in it at all. Oh. But it's still engaging and still. It's yeah. It's still, um, you're not bored. You're not like put me back to just a statement because you're interested in the different perspectives of the opening scene. Nice. So, so it all uh, yeah. revolves around the opening scene. What happens in the opening scene? Cool. Yeah. Keep an eye on the opening scene. 